Hello students, in this session we'll see or we'll come to know about a few elements which are there in Windows or it, you may say that it's introduction to Windows operating system. So as you can see uh, here that when a computer starts, when Windows operating system normally starts, this is the look, uh, this is the view that you see when it starts. Look, this is how it appears, huh? you can see it. I have used the print screen command and I've print, uh, copied the screen and I've pasted it in MS Word to show you what these things are called, what things which you see are called. So let us begin with the, the word desktop. I would like to clarify this word because uh, most, most, most people have a confusion uh, regarding this desktop, how to use this word desktop. We all know that uh, desktop, laptop, palm top are the types of mini uh, microcomputers. Where if you if you if you are talking about these things like desktop, laptop, or palm top, so that's a different thing than this desktop. You know, this desktop is other than the desktop that I was just referring to. So first, I, let me clarify that what is that desktop. Desktops are the machines or the computers which are put over the desk. It has a monitor, it has a CPU, keyboard, mouse, and other devices are attached. It needs a desktop to keep it there and work. So that's why it is called desktop computers. That is desktop computer, not desktop only, desktop computer. Laptops are the computers which we, we can keep in our lap laptop computer you know palm tops mobile phone tablets these are the palm tops which we can keep in our palm palm means this palm, palm top okay so that is a different thing now what is this desktop not try to understand when we work just forget about computer when we work we use normally a table and a chair and you work over the table's desk okay so we usually keep the things which are using frequently in our table, like pen, like eraser, the pencil, the scale. These are the things which we normally use when we are working or making or writing something or doing some work. Papers, uh, means the important things. So normally the top of the desk, the table, that area is called desktop. What do we keep there? We normally keep it clean, but we keep over the desktop some important things while you are normally working. Hmm. So when a computer starts, this is how a computer starts. Uh, this is the look, what you see when it completely starts. So this is the desktop area. You can think it as a place where looks like top of the table this top of the table kind of so on the top of the table we do what we keep only important things or we keep it clean to look good the same way in the desktop this is called the desktop area when your computer start this is called the desktop area this is the this is the real meaning of the desktop in relation with the computer and windows and all where we should keep, where we should keep only important icons, only important programs, not everything in over the table, the desk table, okay, desktop. Not everything is kept in the desktop. Only important things, the program which you use frequently can be kept there, double click it and still there. The file which you are using, just keep it there. Otherwise, keep it clean, it look nice, okay. So, this area, this whole area is known as desktop area. And the image, any picture, any photo of anything that is visible there, the, this is a graphics of blue color and blue and white, this graphics. This picture, this image, this graphics is known as wallpaper. That wallpaper is over the desktop to give it an appealing look, good look, that's it. Now you see this area in the bottom right corner you may see this is the notification area 
where it gives you different kind of noti notices, notifications it gives like internet is connected or not. As you can see, internet is connected, volume label, ah, battery status, and uh, everything, everything else. Huh? This gives you notice if uh, something virus will be found, then in this notification area it will appear virus has been found or battery, battery is getting down or any other notification that they have to give. So this notification area. Now look at this. Left side, this recycle bin, this uh, file name and icons. and These all are the icons, okay? And icons are of normally three types you may say. System icon is there. Application icon is there. Document icon is there. Now what is, what is the differences between these? System icons means? The system program, system related program, like control panel is one of the system related program. The recycle bin is a system related program. So icon to represent them are known as system icon. What is application icon? Application are icon are the icon which represents some application, like icon of MS Word, MS Excel. Like here, one of the program is this PDF signer. This, these all are the the icon which represent any application is known as application icon. Now, what is a document icon? The icon which represent any document, like if you have saved any file, like this class nine query is a file. This is a document icon. This is representing that this is a kind of document, okay? So these are the different types of icons. Look at this. The most important part, the taskbar, this whole bar from here still here this is called taskbar notification is also part of taskbar a start menu the window button the window icon you see that is known as start button which is activated by, activated by pressing the window button in the bottom left corner as well as in the right corner in the few, few, few keywords you may find this window key to activate this when you press the window key this is start menu starts and this is the place from where you can start anything huh? you can start typing like if you want to open excel just type the three letters exc just three letters four letters you will type now in the search box this is search box its task is to search to search out and find your query here so only writing three to four letters of the program that you want to open it will search and bring it in front and just press enter or click it and that will get opened okay so this is how uh, this works now you have seen uh, all these things now when we open a program this is called application window this is the application window of ms excel now this is a multi-programming operating system so we can open multiple programs this is microsoft word Look at at the top of any application. Look at the mouse pointer right now. This is title bar, which tells you that the name of the application, this is Microsoft Word. And this tells you document two is the name of file. Okay. So this is application window. Yes. And uh, you can use multiple instances of word like one word is opened we have opened another word okay like this or you can press control n control n n for new to open the new document okay so this is how we can have multiple instance of same application okay fine now let us see this in ms excel this is book one when we'll press look at the top title bar it says excel and book one control n nothing has changed but the book two it has came now where is the book one book one is also there just press this this is restore window these are two windows this is book two and this is book one so what is this then this microsoft excel is known as application window but this book one and book two is known as uh, document window okay document window so what does document window contain look these are the scroll bar look at this row number one two three four five six like this no it's not filled up but still it is there now this is scroll bar 
look at the mouse pointer as we'll press this this is known as vertical scroll look at the raw number i'm pressing it and the raw is increasing huh? and we can also drag it like this write something like uh, something like this okay look now you can easily see uh using the mouse wheel also scrolls huh mouse wheel right now i'm using you can use the navigation key arrow key page up page down or scroll key like this to scroll it works in all the applications it's not about only excel it works in all the applications this is known as vertical uh sorry horizontal scroll bar it's always there so you can scroll it to vertical uh, horizontally this way left to right or right to left so this is a scroll bar okay one major concept also is one more type of window is there like if you have written something here and if you want to close it to close application window we use control f4 f1 f2 a function keys are there so to close document window a window inside an application or like if you want to close only book 1 or book 2 so what you can do suppose book 2 we have done nothing in it okay we have not done nothing in it book 2 and we want to simply close it i don't want it to close it of course we can click these close buttons and minimize maximize but using keyboard shortcut control f4 is used to close a document window look so when we close uh, anything then it ask do you want to save this kind of windows are called dialog windows okay dialog windows you want to save or not or no i don't want to save it or if you want to do any kind of formatting control uh, one is pressed in excel to bring the this this kind of windows are also known as dialog windows and these are different tabs number tab alignment tab font tab border tab so how can you can click it of course but how can we use a mouse uh, sorry keyboard to go there control tab is the button control tab we can use look now it is font border fill protection control shift tab will let you move backward okay fine now go to alignment control tab and see text alignment horizontal is there vertical is there and see that h has the underline here b has underline degrees here d has underline here w has uh, k has a uh, merge cell has m has underline so if you want to go to these option then just press alt plus the underlined letter suppose we want to go to degrees here d has underlined alt d will let you yeah cursor cursor has gone there now up and down arrow or you can simply type it all right so this will set the angle okay 50 degree angle what is that so it will write the text in degrees of 50 degree angle okay now if you want to go to merge cell then m has underlined just press alt m you see merge cell has selected okay you want to set the text direction alt t and up and down key you can use hmm. another way to move from one option to another option is tab button right now we are in text direction press tab button now it has gone to okay button the control has gone to echo button now when you will press the tab button it will go to cancel see now cancel cancel has got the control now alignment has got the control look at there now after coming to this point using the tab key we can use left or right key also to change the tab control tab is also there but this is also there again tab you went to horizontal uh, option then what uh, it went to indent option now what are the use of horizontal indent this this you can learn while learning excel but right now i'm telling you how to move the control from one option to another option alt plus underline key is also there tab button is also there suppose i wanted to be in indent and by mistake i pressed one more tab and i came to vertical okay so if by mistake you came to vertical by pressing a tab button and if you press one more time tab it will go forward it will go
So I was telling you that by mistake, if you have pressed tab button like this, then you came forward to go back. Shift tab is used. Shift tab, and to select or deselect these options, check boxes, press space bar to either select or to deselect. So a lot of uh, simple shortcuts are there. I mean, uh, if you want to go to horizontal, Alt H can be pressed. Yes, there you can choose any option. If you want to press uh, select string to fit, then Alt K can be pressed because K has the underline. So this is how you can use the shortcut. And to enter, press OK means to press OK, press Enter button. O enter is the default key for OK. And to cancel, Escape is used. Escape button, ESC in the corner of the keyboard, you may find that button. Escape can just uh, simply cancels it. Okay. So here we've seen few shortcuts. Now one major thing I would like to tell you is active window and inactive window. How? Look at the taskbar. Look at a light bar and below blue bar below this uh, Excel icon, word icon. Why this blue bar is there or in setting icon? Because this these windows are right now opened. Open. So when we opened paint brush, then also a new window came. This is paint brush. And now see in the taskbar, and just uh, below here, that a new icon of paint brush has came and a light blue bar is there. That indicates that these programs are opened. How can we say, say that? Yes, one more shortcut is there. Alt plus or window plus D. Window button plus D, D for desktop. It will minimize everything and show you the desktop screen. Okay, the control went to the desktop. Now use uh, uh, this. Alt D. One second. Hmm. So pressing Window D shows you the desktop, and see the taskbar. Lot of icons are visible here. Lot of icons are there. But which one is the which program is opened? You can see the blue bar here. This light blue bar. Excel is opened. Although it is minimized, it is minimized. Okay. Word is there minimized. And if you keep the mouse pointer there, it will show you like this. This is open, this is open, and this is open. So which is active right now? Right now, now none of them is active. Okay. So how can we activate them? Pressing Alt plus Tab. Alt plus Tab. This shows you the open program. Keep the Alt button pressed and press the Tab button one by one, like this and stop where you want to go. Suppose I want to go to book one or Excel. Just leave the Alt button. This is one of the key through which you can make the active program. Now Paint is our active program. Window plus tab also works sometime. Window plus tab also can be used for this purpose. Huh? So this is how also you can Alt plus tab or Window plus Alt tab plus uh, Alt plus tab works nice. Now, if you'll press the right key in the taskbar, in the blank space taskbar, then you can adjust a lot of things. This, this, and you can use these options. They're like cascade windows. So all the programs which are opened will be opened like this, cascaded. Now what is cascaded? One over another, one over another like this. So window is tagged. Like this, all the windows can stack. So window side by side. There's all the windows, Word, Paint, and Excel, all are arranged side by side. So these.